Drive down any major thoroughfare in America and it won't be long before you spot a Taco Bell. The fast food mega franchise known for its iconic talking chihuahua commercials and forays into dishes as daring as they are delectable. In a country fueled by fast food reimaginations of classic cuisine, ABC's John Schiffen gets a first-hand look at an American company causing quite a stir. They could be screaming for a boy band, but instead, they're screaming for, of all things, a taco. Cool Ranch, Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. They should make a Cool Ranch. That's right. Cool Ranch Dorito. Taco Bell's transformation of the traditional taco, and if they have any say in it, the entire fast food industry. How did that concept come about? That's, a, that is, that's the story that everyone's wanted to know. So how it started was, a few years ago, um, we, we were about to turn 15, so I said, you know what I want? I want to reinvent the taco. Because if you think about it, the taco hasn't changed for 50 years. It's corn, it's yellow, and it's folded in the shape of a taco. There's been innovation in buns and burgers and everything else, but there's been no innovation in tacos. So I said to the team, let's reinvent the taco. Wow. A Doritos wow. Locos Taco, wow. a uniquely Doritos American Doritos delicacy. And yet... I'm the Australian guy selling Mexican food to <laughs> Americans. When 54-year-old CEO Greg Creed joined Taco Bell 12 years ago, he knew he had an image oh. problem. What do you think was the perception of Taco Bell? Oh, cheap, uh, messy, uh, low quality. That was probably the perception 12 years ago. And I think we've done, hopefully, an amazing job of really turning that around. So he led us inside for a rare look at Taco Bell's headquarters in Irvine, California. Why do you like working here at Taco Bell? here? Yeah. The people. The people. Everybody's yeah. a family. Mm, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. He's tried to make the place feel more like a dot-com startup with a game room and a state-of-the-art gym than a $6.8 billion a year fast food giant. The Taco Bell just made for you. Glenn Bell, hence the name Taco Bell, probably never imagined a neon orange taco shell when he built the first Taco Bell restaurant in the early 1960s. Back then, few Americans had heard of tacos. Even today, of the top 10 fast food chains, Taco Bell is the only one selling Mexican cuisine. One million Doritos Locos tacos per day. How do you do it? 100 million in the first quarter and over 400 million so far. So you do it because it's a very simple idea. Doritos on the outside with all the classic taste of Taco Bell on the inside. And you do it because no one else can do it. Frito Lay, the makers of Doritos, even announced this week that they now have a Doritos chip inspired by the taco. But as Taco Bell has risen to be the sixth largest fast food chain in America, it faces a familiar criticism that it's contributing to the nation's obesity problem. How much fat is in it? Right. How many calories are in a taco? Well, the, cal the calorie count in tacos is quite low. I think it's like less than 200 calories is in a taco. But the great thing about Taco Bell is you've got choice, right? We're very conscious about giving people choice. And, but it's up to the people to make the choice for them to make it. I can't force them to eat whatever I put on my menu. We've taken a million and a half pounds of sodium out of our products in the last two years, and we've really told nobody. And the reason we've told nobody is because people worry that if you take sodium out, it's not going to taste as good. Cutting back by 10 or 15 percent is almost inconsequential to the flavor profile of the product. They were adding so much to begin with. Michael Moss, the author of the new book, Salt, Sugar, Fat, spent years researching the big food companies. He knows firsthand how hard companies work to make a product that will make you crave more. They haven't diminished the allure of the product. It's the fat and the sugar in products. While they're reducing the salt, they sure haven't reduced the sugar and the fat, and people are still lured to snack foods that are heavy in the calorie things, the sugar and the fat. And that's the issue when it comes to, when it comes to obesity. But Creed insists Taco Bell isn't ignoring the growing obesity epidemic. Lose the tortilla and share these beautiful ingredients with the world. You know, we introduced the Cantina Bell. We worked with Lorena Garcia, who's an amazing woman, an amazing chef. And she sort of inspired us to create the Cantina Bell line. And that was, you know, whole black beans, you know, cilantro white rice, corn and pepper salsa. Taco Bell isn't alone in pursuing healthier options. McDonald's and Burger King now offer salads and wraps, and even at KFC. They now offer grilled chicken alongside the famous deep fried version. The cantina line. Yeah. Totally different than what you've totally. had before. The rollout of each new menu item now comes with a side of social media marketing, using sites like Facebook and Twitter to create a buzz. Okay, folks, here is a doozy. When the tiny town of Bethel, Alaska was tricked into thinking a Taco Bell would finally open up there, 
just so the town wouldn't be disappointed, Taco Bell flew in a truck of tacos. And now the taco tycoon says they have the burger giants in their crosshairs. I think in the next 10 years, we're going to have to hire another 100,000 people at Taco Bell. So just we, because of this taco? Not just because of this, but this taco creates growth, right? So we're gonna, we think we can build another 2,000 restaurants in the next 10 years to go from 6,000 to 8,000. We think we can double the size of Taco Bell. Double? From, from about a $7 billion to a $14 billion brand. A part of that growth is customer service. Welcome to Taco Bell. Can I take your order? Employees are expected to fill orders. Your order is complete. In under 65 seconds. These ones, they already have five minutes. Five minutes. So we're not doing too well. Not that well. Not very well, okay. Despite my shortcomings, I managed to feed some hungry customers. There you go. Enjoy your meal. What do you think? It's good. It's good? Do you think I could work here full time? <laughs> yeah. I so you think mi mixing Doritos with tacos actually works? I never would have thought of it before, but that's actually really good. And that's that's genuine. It's actually pretty dang good. Pretty good indeed. We're thinking outside the bun. For Nightline, I'm John Schriffen, Irvine, go. California. <laughs>